Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to utilize the WPGPT poster. In this tutorial, I will walk you through from the installation of the plugin, until all the way to get the GPT working. So without further ado, let's begin. Just for this tutorial, I have actually installed a new instance of WordPress to simulate a newly installed WordPress website. To install the plugin, you will need to log in as an administrator. Right at the dashboard, navigate to the menu that says Plugin and then hit on the Add Plugin button. Then on this page, click on Upload Plugin. Next, upload the plugin that you have downloaded from my website to your WordPress. Once uploaded, click on Activate. You will notice a new menu called GPT2WP. Click on the menu. Now it is time to configure the plugin. The configuration is rather simple. First you just need to enter your email, and then click the Get API button. This will register you to the system to securely connect to your website. The next thing to do is to create your secret pass. This is used by the WPGPT poster to verify that you are the owner of the website. Once you have entered your secret pass, click on Save Changes. You should also notice that the text in the gray box has been changed accordingly. This is the text you can use in the GPT. For now, just copy in your clipboard so that we can use it later. The next thing to do is to change your permalink to Post Name. To do that, go to Settings, then click on Permalinks. Select the Post Name and Save Changes. Now with that, we are ready to start using the WPGPT poster. So go to your chat GPT interface. Look for Explore GPTs. Next, click on the search field and type in WPGPT poster. You will see a blue avatar robot that is identical to the one on my website. Once you see it, Click on it. Now you are using our GPT. Remember the text that we copied from the plugin configuration page? This is when we will need it. Just copy the text over here and modify the part that define the article topic of the content to a topic of your interest. Then hit on enter. The GPT will automatically craft the content and all you need to do is monitor and wait for the GPT to seek instructions from you. Sometimes the GPT will ask if you have other inputs, but sometimes it will just continue posting for you. Once it is ready to post the content for you, it will prompt you with a button that says, Confirm. All you have to do is click the Confirm button. Once the posting is done, it will give you a link to the post, just like the one on my screen. Now the post is published and this means that you have successfully get the GPT to work properly. What I have just shared is a basic way of using the tool. There are many ways you can use the tool, and I would be sharing it in my future videos. If you want to keep up to date, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial and I hope to see you again in my next video.